Hey guys, my name's Courtney and together with my husband Steve, we are a stream in life. We travel full time in our 30 foot Airstream travel trailer around the country, um, camping and enjoying life as we go. Today's video is a how to about how to combine your black and gray tank and why you'd want to. So there are two main options when trying to combine your black and gray tanks in an RV. One is to actually go full out and get them replaced with one big tank. We've known people who have done that. Um, if they have a composting toilet and they don't actually have any sewage that so it would be going into their gray tank anyway. That's not what we did. We, that's more money, more work on the Airstream. What we did was buy a Valterra valve, which we've done a video on before. So I will link to that up above. And that valve allows us to close off the sewer connection, open our two tanks, and let the water equalize between them. Now, why in the world would we ever want to do this? For us, it's really simple. We have a composting toilet, which we installed. Again, look for the video up above. Um, and that composting toilet means we no longer have sewage. We no longer have black water. All we have in our Airstream is gray water. However, we only have the one gray tank. And so all of our sinks and showers and everything like that still go and fill up the gray tank and the black tank sits there empty since we no longer have a toilet that goes to it. So we use our valve to equalize between the two tanks and fill them up gradually together. And what that does is allows us to have a huge amount of gray water storage. So when we're boondocking, we can go twice as long tank wise than if we were to just fill up our gray tank. So huge savings in time and effort and having to take the Airstream somewhere and dump the tanks because now we have double the tanks room for all of our gray water. Now, for those of you watching who don't have a composting toilet, you're gonna say, why in the world do I care? There is an advantage to being able to sh combine your gray and black tanks, even if you still have sewage, even if you still have a regular toilet. In most scenarios when you're boondocking, your gray water tank is going to fill up before your black water tank. Simple reason. The black is just toilets. And often people are using toilets elsewhere besides just in their RV. They have toilets at the campsite. They have toilets out wherever they're going. And the toilets don't use that much water compared to say a shower or washing dishes or anything else that you're doing in your RV or Airstream that goes into the gray water tank. So, like I said, often people's gray water tank is their limiting factor in how long they can stay out in boondock. Now, if you have a valve like the one we have, what you can do, even if you still have sewage in your black water tank, is close off the valve so nothing's coming out of, the, out of where you would attach your hose, open up your gray water tank. That will allow the water to rush out and start filling that area, and then open up your black water, your black tank the gray water will rush into the black tank because they're trying to equalize and there's a lot more pressure and water in the gray than in the black. Now, as long as you let that happen and then shut the black tank before it actually equalizes, you won't have to worry about, in most scenarios, as long as your tanks are set up this way, you won't have to worry about any kind of sewage or black water coming back out towards your gray water tank. All you'll be doing is putting extra water from your gray water tank into your black tank and therefore allowing yourself to stay out longer while boondocking and it gives more water into the black tank which honestly is a really good thing it helps keep the black tank much cleaner um, than if you were just flushing the toilet because more water in there will get things going and, and keep things from being too gross that is how we combine our black and gray tank and why we think it would be useful for other people as well obviously if your rv is set up to have separate sewer um, connections for your gray and black, this is not gonna work. Um, but for those of us who have a combined sewer connection for our gray and black tanks, this is a great option if you plan on doing a lot of boondocking. Uh, it's a good to have, in our opinion. That's it for this week. If you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to hear more about our journey and our travels, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye guys.